I'm Pat Gunn, and this is a Let's Play of Skyrim Dragonborn. In the last episode, we, uh, I spoke with Hermaeus Mora, and he extracted the secrets of the skull from this guy, who's now dead. And she's his daughter. And now I need to unlock a shout, bend will. Which I have just done. And I will then need to read the book, Waking Dreams. It's a good thing that it doesn't do to me what it just did to him. And I'm no longer quite as fond of Hermaeus Mora as I was before. Uh, For this, but hmm, and I should probably be ready to should probably have some allies ready because I think things are probably about to get rather interesting. Although it's possible that this that we're nearing the end of uh, of the main quest line here, and if we are, then I'll just be wrapping up with the assassin. Uh, so what? What are we doing here? Well, I guess there's little that would just take me back to where I was. So I guess I just have to proceed through this area. This doesn't look quite like it uh, did before. I wonder if the black books are... Oh, hello. Maybe they don't always take you to exactly the same place. Apocrypha boneless limbs. I do not. A writhing mass of heaped appendage. Slipping grasp the squirming slick, extend the reach to touch the face, burn the mind, reveal the quick. That is just weird, not particularly helpful. But maybe I'm going to need that book somehow. What? I did not mean. I up here before? I guess maybe I was up here before. Or not. Okay, so that would open up the door to here, but or something. This is not being super clear what I need to do. I'm 
I guess maybe it just might have put new books in an otherwise on Apocrypha Delving Pincers. Okay, uh, seems like I am on a disturbing book hunt. I need here? No, maybe not. I have no idea what I'm doing. And I suspect that I might be getting lost. Or not. Also, it's kind of neat uh, seeing things pull back like that. It is a lot like the uh, the Dwemer um, cube thingy. Which which pulled back in roughly the same way. Okay, there's nothing this way. There is stuff this way. And I do have this feeling that going to need some more buddies. See what this does. Nothing that I really can see. Oh, it might have opened this door over here to the right. I don't really need any of that. Is there nothing in here that I need? I don't see anything. Wait, was, was there not a... No. Hmm. Okay, a useless room. Uh, I don't see anything over here that's particularly useful. a way to open that. I guess this just looks like a... I like that they're generous with um, prying orbs. An apocrypha of prying orbs. Okay, another creepy book. And that opens some doors. I like that they're being pretty generous at this point with um, high level potions. Is that the door that opened? I think it is. Maybe the map will show me. Yeah. This is the book that I came through. Uh, somebody, another one of these guys. Fortunately, they're no real threat. Just head on down here. 
So you could either head across or or down. Well, it looks like there's a desk with some stuff on it over here. Not sure if any of it's useful stuff. No skill books, nothing like that. Okay, let's keep on moving. Is there anything through here? I think this is where I have not been yet. I do have the feeling, though, that there will be foes just around here. Oh. Passage forks. Um, well, I will see what is over this way. Oh, what is going on? Oh, apparently this passage is being closed. Okay. So I guess I have to go this way instead. Or not. Is this being closed too? Seems like it moved at least. Hmm. Where am I going? blades. Well, let's see what's in this creepy book. Okay, so I have a collection of four creepy books. I wonder if there are more or not. So is this where I went, went before? It was stifled by the chamber's shortening on me? Looks like it. Doesn't look like they want to move back. Nothing in these ash piles. So what really am I doing? I want to reach Mirox Temple. Somehow that involves going right here. Is that a scroll? Yeah, two scrolls. Now this is where I got the book. I don't want to go back through there. There's nothing really over here that I see. There's nothing over here that I see. So what am I doing? So what is right behind me? Because the map seems to think that there, or that there might be stuff over to my right. But I don't think there is. Oh well. I guess either go back through the tunnel or I go up. But if I go up, that's where I got the book. So I'm up is the wrong direction. There, there's got to be something in the tunnel. Okay, there's nothing to the left. I don't think. Oh. tunnel is willing to extend forward. And have I been this way? No, I haven't. Okay, that's good. Let's see what can be found in this direction. It's, uh, it 
bring more bodyguards. Yep, I don't see anything. Well, you're look actually, this looks a little bit like Castle Volokar. Well, not a lot, just a little bit. Be kind of terrifying if these platforms were to c collapse and drop me into the uh, gook. Because that's pretty nasty gook. And is there a fifth book up here? No. Okay, what's what is this going to do? Hmm. And apparently where I want to be is way over there, but I'm not sure if it's within this uh, subzone or not. Oh well, let's see. Well, let's see if there's anything novel over here now. Because maybe pressing on that button rotated this chamber or something. Maybe. Does the game? Yeah, the game still thinks I'm exploring new ground, so that is a good sign. This just screams battle chamber, so I'm gonna drop off a new Dramora Lord and see what happens. And it kind of figures that that would be what I need. I guess I could ignore this guy. He's not exactly important to... Maybe if I put the other Dramora on the other side. And I can just kind of sit back and summon a new one when an existing one dies. Okay, so that is one fewer of these lurker dudes. And what am I doing here? Okay, this door isn't going to open on its own, but this thing you do will probably open it for me, I'm going to guess. Maybe? No? Didn't I just come from here? Yeah. So... Yeah, this is the new direction, I think. No, no, I, I just came from there. So this is the new direction, I, I think. Yeah. Hopefully. Well, except that's a pretty nice weapon. Except it's not at all helpful to my quest. which requires me to head more in this direction somehow. Maybe that's going to open another door. Yes, that looks good. Okay. And we're heading up. This is apparently where I want to be. Okay, this is looking promising. I didn't find another book though. Hope, hope uh, I didn't need to. Okay, let's 
I'm going to just keep on summoning more of these occasionally just because they have an expiration date. Oh, what is that? It's a pedestal with a yawning thing. pedestal with an eyeball. What do these pedestals do? Oh, well, eyeball seems, prying orb seems appropriately for that. Uh, it seems appropriate for that. I hope there's only four pedestals. Okay, another one of these guys. Okay, I cannot push these guys off that way. And apparently summoning them. Okay, let's chop this guy down. Can't really do anything to me. Down you go. Sweet. Tentacles. Uh, boneless limbs seem to describe a tentacle pretty well. Uh, this is crab claws? Oh, pincers, sure. And uh, this is a, a yawning mouth. I guess snatching blades might be what it what that's like. And uh, there's a book over here. So let's see what that does. Okay. Um, okay, my ha I have my two bodyguards back there. Um, here's another chest thing. probably would level my destruction skill if it weren't already at 100. Stone flash? Yeah, not all that important. Let's see what's up here. Oh, this just screams battle arena. So let's summon up another Dramora Lord to go say hi to those guys. Is that a word wall? That might be a word wall. Let's see what's over here, though. Okay, it's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't really do squat to me. Let's see if this is a word wall. Looks like a word wall. But it's a Hermaeus Mora word wall. Armor, dragon, aspect. Sure, whatever. To, shame, uh, to tame... Sabotar? Oh, Bend Will Shout. Magic Shouts, Bend Will. Might as well put this on the memory thing. Yeah, apparently I'm going to board the ugliest dragon in the world. Wow. is for target lock. Uh, this is the least helpful target angle, camera angle ever. I guess this is what being a dragon is, is like. Wait, am I actually steering this thing? I 
do not understand this thing. Okay. Wait, why are you... Okay. I don't really want to fight these things. Where am I trying to go? Am I trying to... Is this where I want to be? Maybe it's where I want to be. where I want to be. Wait, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you over... Stop. Oh. Okay. Good. Okay, so what is the haps? Well, I guess what I'm going to do is use lightning storm on you, dude. Sorry. see now. Oh, you can interrupt my spells. You, are you going to let me do this? Yeah, I guess you will. Okay, whoa. Oh, you apparently have some pretty decent weapons. So, see if I can, uh, where did you go? Not see where you went, but oh, are you healing yourself with dragons? It is so not cool. Fortunately, I have some pretty nice spells to send at you, but you can disrupt them. Okay. Oh, don't tell me. How many dragons are there for you to eat? Wait, where are you? Dude? Hello? Shysta poop.
Oh, he's been impaled by spiky thing. Oh, and Hermaeus Mora decided to impale him. Okay. And Hermaeus Mora speaks very slowly. Okay, well, so I guess he is dead. And and I apparently can't get anything from his body because I am not allowed to search him. Oh, no, now I'm allowed to search him. What is going on here? Oh, that is handy. So I can clear out perks that I don't want. Uh, well, are there perks that I, I have that I don't want? Not really. No, I'm, I'm okay with my perks. It's a nice thing to offer, but it's not something I really need. So, back to Soul's Thine I, I, I go. So it seems like there's a still, still a reasonable number of things to do, but this was probably the main uh, set of things that's uh, supposed to happen here, which is fine. It, it was, it was a neat main quest line for this expansion. Okay. Yes, what do you have to say? Okay. So that I guess was the main uh, quest line for here. Now there are other quests, but I'm not actually going to do them. But I will... I will finish the assassination quest line. But I'm going to try and do it as quickly as I can, or well, try and do it reasonably quickly because it's not really part of the um, it's not really part of the Dragonborn DLC.
But I think within another one or two, uh, two chapters of this, I can probably wrap it up. And it's a pretty cool quest line with a few cringe-worthy elements to it. Okay, so I am back in Raven Rock. Captain, what you might call it? Are you the captain? Okay, so the main quest here is um where was it? and Mark Garth. One of the things I don't like about the Assassin's Guild uh, quest is, uh, so I'm particularly fond of um, your all Elisif. And later on, you'll see we need to do some things that make her rather unhappy. I mean, I know that certainly doing any of these things for real would be pretty monstrous, but uh, to the extent that I can put that aside in moving into a fantasy world where you're killing things all the time and often being more than a bit of a douche. It's fairly difficult to put aside that she just seems to be a pretty cool uh, character. Okay, so I am off to talk to Muri, who is... mostly to the left and a good ways upwards. So I think it probably would have been fairly challenging to uh, to knock out uh, what's his name, the first Dragonborn without using that master level destruction spell. And by extension, without having, without abusing the cost reduction uh, gear. Oh wait, is he the person I want to talk to? No, she's the person I want to talk to. Was certainly easy. Uh, she didn't give me a lot of gold for doing something like that, but whatever.
Ecke. Also, this whole Night Mother thing is truly and deeply creepy. Still, it's interesting that they that they put it in the game. They don't insist that you be a hero or or a villain, and they give you reasonable amounts of ambiguity about some quests. And it's not like you could easily do a completely pacifistic run. You could try. But it would be quite tough. What would a pacifistic run look like? I guess you would end up skipping out on quite a lot of... This is quite a creepy thing, but off we go. And here you shut yourself in with a corpse which is, yeah, really pretty nasty. Just to eavesdrop on the crazy jester dude. It was so, so irritating. Although he's a little bit less irritating when you can't hear his voice. But you still see him dance and I think I would be pretty reluctant to hide out with the corpse inside a, a coffin.
And here the Night Mother is actually speaking to the Dragonborn. I wonder if he was voiced by John Delancey, or DeLacy, or Delancey, I think. The guy who did Q on Star Trek. Although I was talking about earlier, the game still does have a way of making you central to all the important plots in the game. Yeah, yeah, come on. So I should report to Astrid whenever Cicero shuts up. Come on. And Astrid is bound not to be super happy about this because she sent me here to spy on Cicero and to scout out a possible threat to her leadership. That is pretty hilarious. Somebody wanted a bard killed for just being really bad. Okay, so those are two more contracts to take care of. Unfortunately, you can't zoom in enough to actually see what the tenets were. So, so close. I think they designed it to be just, uh, just barely illegible.
Now fortunately by this point of the game I have most of the fast travel points down, so I should be able to take care of these pretty quickly. Now that's kind of a weird thing, like just uh, I wonder if how much custom modification it requires to pants and shirts to accommodate their tail. Like I'm not sure what pants and shirts would look like if humanoid cats actually existed. But I have a suspicion that it uh, it wouldn't look like this. I don't know if it would mean that they would uh, like if you would have like a metal ring that the tail would go out through or something else. Anything that it would be presumably would have to be something that's not too difficult to put on. And it would have to be something that's reasonably comfortable, flexible. Um, I'm just not sure what it would really look like. But yeah, probably nothing like that. Okay, so do I actually have I have an ebony dagger, that should probably do. Unfortunately, my sneak is high enough that I can pretty much just crouch right by where I need to go. And uh, take care of something. And uh, and people won't see me. Which is pretty impressive. In real life, that certainly shouldn't work. Maybe it would, but in real life, I suppose if somebody sees a dead body and somebody else running away from it, they would figure it out. Whereas in Skyrim, so long as they don't see you strike the blow, they won't think that you're the murderer. I wonder if that cloak is meant to actually have metal rings. I suppose it would make it tougher. Presuming that the cloak was originally, or uh, is meant to be like leather or something like that. Huh, where is it? Am I in the right, heading in the right direction? Yeah, I guess it's over to the right. Oh, I've been here before. These are the guys who I ordered lumber from, I think. Just make sure, yeah, this is where I want to be. Well, fortunately, my house is complete. Well, that was pretty quick. Except well, I guess I, I could leave the other uh, leave the other alive. But yeah, it was pretty cool seeing a little bit more of Dunmer culture in the uh, in the expansion. Particularly because I haven't seen the other Elder Scrolls games. I 
and the Dunmer are fairly minor uh, players in Skyrim. Okay, let's put the weapons away, head in here. So I expect I have about one episode left. I think I'll be able to fit the rest of the Dark Brotherhood quest line in in another uh, roughly an hour's worth of playing. So she wants me to go and actually take on that quest, but first I'm going to actually report that I'm done with this quest line to what's his name. Okay. Who's this guy? Well, I guess he's a hunter. Anyhow, uh, this has been a playthrough of Skyrim Dragonborn.